Hello, horror fans, and welcome back to Amanda the Adventurer 2. In the last episode, we went ahead and completed the train puzzle. We found a secret uh, tape from that. We also went ahead and went through all the books here in the library. Sort of made a mess of it over here. We just piled them up. So now all we have left, I think, as far as I can tell, is just to uh, watch the next video, I think. I mean, we have this, but I have no idea on the number for that yet. So, yeah, let's go ahead and watch the next video, and we'll see where we get from there. I mean, this is sort of the same videotape we had before. It was the damage videotape, but now it's got band-aids on it. So that makes it different and better. Hi, I'm Amanda. And I'm Wooly. What's your favorite thing about where you live? Whoa. Okay, this is back. I always like to pause it toward the beginning now because I find that there's different puzzles that are here at times. Let's see if I can remember these puzzles here real fast. Actually, it was the jeans for that one. There we go. Alright, so that's that one. This one I don't remember off the top of my head. I'll have to look back on that. Um, this one, I want to say it was orange juice up in the top corner. Apple down in the bottom corner. Milk up in this corner. Egg here. Bread there. Alright, so that's good on that. And then with this. I can't remember. Alright, so those two we're going to have to look back for. But we got the other two. But I noticed this in the static there, which is why I said, whoa. Because I did forget one thing that was over at the office. I played this episode and the one you would have seen yesterday back to back. But it had been a few days since I had actually played the game. And I completely forgot about this thing. Notice the sort of uh, unique shape there that's also on the screen? <laughs> I think that was important. I also haven't checked the fax machines I should, or the uh, printers. Should check one of those and see. Ha! It's telling me exactly what I already figured out. Alright. But it is showing it as three, so do we have to do it three different times? Guess we'll watch through the video and see. It might be that we have to do it three different times. Well, it fell off. Let's see what's on it. Can't help but be curious. Alright, we have a clown here. Oh, this looks like some of the stuff from the puzzle box. All right, so that's good, but we're missing stuff. All right, so we are going to need the three times with it. I'm betting, though, that's going to give us some answer to some puzzle here. Not sure exactly what, but I guess we'll figure that out. Uh, yeah, put that there. Oh, that sounds nice. My favorite thing is how safe and cozy my neighborhood feels. Does it, Willie? Yeah. I mean, m most of the time. Do you feel safe where you live? No. No, I don't. Whoa. Those come up fast. Alright, so we know we're going to need it one more time, so I'm not going to bother. 
uh, going to look again. Let's go ahead and put this there. Yeah, me too. Even places that look safe sometimes aren't. In your neighborhood, there are lots of things that can hurt you. There are people who can hurt you too. Um, Amanda, should we really be talking about this? And that makes it hard to feel safe. And sometimes, when we don't feel safe, we can make big mistakes. Amanda, can we please go home? Trust me, you'd rather be where it's warm and safe. You know, you have to really think about who you can trust. Who is someone you trust? Um, my wife. But I don't think that's the answer they want. Um, let's see. I don't trust Amanda, definitely. <laughs> I've started not trusting Wooly. I don't trust the masked figure. So I guess we have Kate or Sam are the two options that I've got that in-game make sense. Sort of want to put my wife, though, just see what happens. But let's go ahead and put Kate... Whoa! That's our third option. I sort of want to see what's on this. <laughs> I really do. Um, I wonder if it would have done that no matter what I chose. Or was it me saying no and Kate that mattered there? I, I am not sure. What's also up with these bulletin boards? That's interesting. Hadn't realized those were there before. But yeah, personally, I don't feel that safe in my neighborhood. Simply because of the fact that... Uh, I'm fairly close to the border, and once in a while we do have some issues with things that come across the border. Often, uh, we have to have border patrol around the area and stuff because of uh, trafficking that goes on in the area. Sad as that is. Alright. So let's see here. I want to go... What does this do? Not a whole lot. That's not what I wanted either. I want it zoomed in some. I mean, that's what these knobs are supposed to do right here. But they're not doing it. Wait a second. It is doing it. Alright. Alright, so first things first. We need to... Go back to the box. Alright. If you've never used one of these before, uh, it might be confusing as to what it does. But I used to love using these in the library back in the day, so I'm sort of happy they have it in here. Alright, so we need the clown with the polka dot pants. We need the guy with the hat. This is going to take several trips. Or, you know what, I could be smart and I could take a picture on my phone and then just take one trip because I have a lot of information to get down here. So, just a moment as I get my camera up on my phone. Alright, make sure that the photo is good so I can see it well. Yeah, that'll work. Alright. Back over to the box. Because I have a feeling the box is going to do something. Alright, so we've got the clown top there. But now we need, like, polka dot pants. Just like those. Alright, now we need somebody with a hat on. That looks like the right one. And we need... Yeah, the camo pants. So it is supposed to be 
for the person. Then we've got Kyle here. And Kyle is going to have those pants, evidently. All right. Now on this side, let's see here. This is going to change. So it's going to be the moon up in that corner. Let's just put that there for now. Sun's going to go there. And then let's see. We need the five star flower down in this corner. And we're going to need this straight up. That there. That there. I don't think this is. I mean, this definitely is not the same orientation it was before. Now, on this side, we need circle, 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 circle. All right, so we've got three of the sides now. Now, let's see on this one. We're going to need the pig up there. This one's sort of hard to read here. Um, I'm thinking it's the muffin down there. All right, so there should be nothing in the top corner. I'm going to change my opinion here. Say that goes down there. This. I think the cow's down there. This should be over here. Nothing's in the top corner. That is right. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, it was pretty hard to read on that one because the images are not that clear. So we have a key. Car key. There's no doors over here. No doors over there. Wait a second. Keep your eye peeled. A new favorite might leap out. That is not what that was, because I had thought that the, the poster there used to be a clock, and I was paranoid that the clock was turning around on me. We'll have to come back and inspect that. Oh, could this be for the bathrooms? No. No. That was not what I wanted to do. Nope, not for those doors, evidently. Is there another... No, that's open at the top. Open at the top. There's a desk in here. Did that have something? I mean, this is a bunch... Well, they're not locked, though. Filing cabinet, maybe? I mean, there are keyholes here. There's a keyhole there. Ah, that's the right keyhole. It opened this, which is another keyhole. Ah, here's how I got into the uh, frogs exhibit, is they took the top off. How much you want to bet that one of the keys is in here? I'm willing to bet that's the case. But I did want to take a look at this. Why is this different? Why can I now touch it, too? That's why. Okay, so now we're finding keys. We were finding things like books. Now we're finding keys. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and put this key in. Let me guess. Open it. Yep. 
Opening our door. So we need this key. Alright, back to this, I guess. We haven't used the one two one plus two equals MD MD. Oh, all right. I think I get it. All right. So I need to go back to the uh, book thing and look for an LM and a WH. LM and WH. We still haven't even finished the video over there. So many things going on. Alright. Let's start scanning books and getting rid of the ones we don't need. LM, WH are what we're looking for. I don't have that in this book. So, can I just chuck that? Not well. Let's just chuck that over into the not used pile. Sort of glad I found all these books now. Alright, that book's damaged, so that one doesn't work. LM or WH? No. I could be completely wrong with this, too. So far, not finding any, but we do have a ton of books here, so. No LM, no WH. I think I'm on the right track, though. I really do. WH, Will Hill. All right, so that book we need. Uh, let me go ahead and put that over here. No. Sort of want to scan all these books at this point. <laughs> Just in case there's more than one with a WH in it. Or more than one with an LM in it. I guess we will see. Seems like they've been pretty good at making sure it's only one of each. At this point, I think I'm going to scan all the books because I've got only a few left as it is. I do hope I remembered that correct, and it is LM. Because otherwise, I'm going to feel very foolish. Linda Monson. All right. I think those are the two, but let me check these other ones while we're here. I'm glad it's only one book of each. That makes it a little bit easier. All right. So we've gone through all the books. All right. LM is one, WH is two. So then it's going to be the month and the date, I think.
All right, so month and date. So three, one. And then, what is that? So that's going to be eight, three, three, one, eight, three. Could that be it? It was it. I'm not entirely stupid. All right. We got this key. Now what is it going to open? Nothing if I just throw it at things. Um, there's a button. Oh, boy. You're okay. What Let's do you do what we came to do and get out of here? Wait a second, we didn't finish watching that tape. Oh! Um. Run. Oh, God. Um, that escalated quickly. That escalated very quickly. <laughs> okay, well, that was how we beat the game, evidently. Um, I think I'm missing some things. Uh, because there was a tape player there. Didn't get the tape. Um, why was there a secret underground in the library? Who was the masked person that just got their head eaten? Why did you break the tape? We didn't even watch the end of the tape. There are a lot of things that I still have questions about here. So I think probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to look and see what achievements I have left. And probably go through and make a video covering those achievements um overall i think i have most of the information like i have most of the achievements done so we'll get those achievements done see if we can figure out where this uh tape would be because i have no idea where the tape would be that she was sort of uh that was shown there with having a tape player not sure where i'd get that but, uh, yeah. So we got a few more things to do. I'm going to try in the next episode to get them all. It might be a longer episode to cover it. But we'll see what happens. And we'll also see if there's an alternate ending because of that. Because, uh, her getting eaten like that, that's an ending, definitely. But, uh, very odd. It also definitely suggests that there is plans for an Amanda the Adventurer 3. Because, yeah, where are we going? What are we doing next? I am going to let it play through the ending here just to see if there is... Oh, look at this. Look at the redacted on the screen here. What is redacted? Did I miss something? I'm wondering if that's stuff that I missed. interesting but as I said we'll see if there's anything at the very end here because that's what happened with the last uh, with the first game if you remember is sort of at the very end we got the masked figure so are we gonna find maybe Kate maybe Kate lived and maybe Kate's been down in this uh, basement I guess we'll see
always amazes me how many people work on a game and such. I mean, it's a great game. I'm really happy with it. Hopefully you have been as well. But it is amazing to see all the people that worked on this. With that in mind, though, I might as well do my sort of sign-off before we see if there's anything at the end. If you enjoyed the video, please go ahead and click that like button. If you've not already, please go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, so that you're aware when I produce new videos in the future. Thank you, and I hope to see you back for the next episode of Amanda the Adventurer 2. Aw, oh, I do like that they thank us, the player. Thank you for making a very fun game. It was really enjoyable. Uh, nope, there was nothing at the end there. Alright, well, we will see you for the next episode where we try to get the rest of the achievements and see if we miss some things. Bye for now.